Hello, Bob, Vintage Lambo. Let's uh, talk about the back of the Lamborghini transmission. Now, the 350 started out with a ZF, and then Lamborghini then got their transmission on board. And so that's what we're talking about, front engine, Lamborghini built transmissions, but we're going to talk at the back of the transmission. And that's where this little casting comes from. Now, there's a piston in each side here. Now, when you have your gear shift in, uh, you want to keep this uh, always in a position you know it's going to start with. So that's a neutral position between uh, third and fourth gear. And so what helps to do that is these two spring-loaded pistons uh, that are inside here and this little guy here that's attached to the uh, shifter. So a shaft coming out of there where the shifter is and this goes back and forth. So when it goes this way, now we're talking about first and second gear. In the center would be three, four, and then fifth and reverse over here. Okay, so uh, this unit can rust up, get sticky, not work right, and then you're really having a hard time really wanting to shift uh, smoothly. So let me just show you. These are the uh, pistons. These have been cleaned off. There was some corrosion, but uh, everything is smooth now. Uh, although there's some pitting, they're still uh, usable. And when we have like bare metal like this, um, I used, I, I'm using this T9, uh, this uh, bow shield. Uh, what this does is it really, you spray it on, it's very uh, liquid, uh, uh, almost like water. And you wipe it down and then it dries to a very like a very thin, but it's like kind of a waxy type. It really blocks out water. If you want to take it off, you just use a solvent, it'll take it off. So. Uh, we're not doing that. We are leaving it alone. Okay, so here's the gist of what I want to say today and is that how do you put this thing back together? Because these springs are actually pretty strong. Uh, I only have a little working area in here to deal with it. Um, you've, you've got some clips in here, some washers. This is the extra spring load so that you don't want to really get it into reverse unless you really want to. So you're kind of like you put into fifth, that's a extra force to the side and also reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and put this thing together. And there seems to be like one kind of way to do this so that uh, it's as easy as possible. And that's the one that I'm gonna try and take today. So uh, no one's given me a Lamborghini transmission uh, book and I've never heard of one. So when you get into these cars, you really have to use a thought process on uh, why did they do what they did and, uh, and then go with it that way. And then, so I made some tools here uh, to try and help me put, put it back together. So we're going to just try and uh, see how I can come along and do this without a big major problem. Okay, we're starting off with uh, this clip here on the end and we're going with the uh, reverse and fifth gear side. So we got the uh, little clip is in the groove. I'll put our little washer inside there with a uh, perfectly sized hole or needed. So I have this little tool here. It has a little bit of a area there to fit this into the spring in. It's actually kind of a spring pin. And I think I have that through here. Let me see how well this wants to yeah so i need to push this a little bit and of course i'm struggling here to try and deal with the camera and everything it looks like i can do it so with this guy and uh, i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in a little vise here i'm going to push down and then i'm going to clamp down
and then without anything popping of course not a good view for you guys it seems good okay so so that is in so you can see we had that little center clip for the uh, pin that goes through the small spring We've got that in, and so now we need to put the uh, big spring in there. So we have the big spring. We're going to put a piston in, and you see how it's hollow on the back. We're going to put that guy through there and through like this. Now I'm going to put this in the vise, and... Um, it turns out that if I go ahead and I put this guy inside here, I can get this to be kind of stable and vertical in this little four inch clamp here. So I'm gonna go down like this. How do I do that again? Whoops. All right. Okay, so then I need to get this piston down, and what's going to hold it in place is going to be this little M6 right in the center. So to, uh, to get that piston down, we're going to put this pin again, but we'll put it in backwards like that. I'm going to put the, I made this little guy here to go in here. And then I've got this little guy here I'm going to, go ahead and, and use this to uh, put it in, but I just want to get this, okay, everything's good. So now I'm going to use this guy Let's see if I can do this without messing up. That would be a first, huh? So if we push this to get this piston to start to go inside I put this like this in here and I pull this guy out and then I can load this guy down and then I'll put this guy in you know I'm not giving you a good view and I'm not giving myself a good view how's that working not too good so we're gonna go like this and then I will go ahead and put the uh, nut on the back of this with the wavy washer. Okay, that's gonna hold it in place for right now. Okay, so we have this side in, so that's looking good. Uh, now to do the other side, I think I'm gonna have to go to the uh, press um, because I don't think I, I can't push this thing down and make everything right. Uh, so the piston goes in like that. And then we're going to put this spring in. Then we have to put this washer and then put the clip on it. So I'm going to go to my other uh, little press and then uh, let's see what we can do out there. Okay, let's see about uh, getting this last bit in. So I've got this little tool here, um, a little space to fit the washer in, but we have to put the snap ring on first. And then we put this guy on and load it here. Let's see about getting this centered. Not so bad, not so bad. Get it down here. Once we get the washer established in the bore, we're pretty good. Okay, so we're in there a little bit. Let me slide this down. 
right in your view. All right, so that is positioned. So now we have to put this guy on. These are a little tricky. No, I don't have the 45 degree here. It died, but uh, we're gonna have to deal with the straight today. Okay, so we've got that. Let's get one of these guys to sort of make sure we can get it in the groove. Okay, let's see what we need to do. I love it when you get a nice snap. Okay, let's uh, relieve the pressure and hopefully we're okay. The spring can't go anywhere as long as this is down, so let's see here. Okay. Okay, everything's good. So we have gotten this baby together. My gosh, that's great. Now that little arm goes in between these and then it just pushes them back and forth. Okay. Well, I, I hope you found this a little bit informative, but uh, it was the best way I came up with to do this operation and still have all the parts. Okay, so please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.